some high school seniors, they are certainly facing a decision of a lifetime right now, where to go to college. But there is a growing trend in higher education that may make that choice even more difficult. We're talking about smaller private universities closing because of struggling enrollment. For example, Holy Names University in Oakland is closing next month. Now, Sean Chitness caught up with one student who was forced to transfer out. In fact, her warning now to incoming freshmen. Kaylin Garrison's love of soccer brought her to Dominican University in San Rafael this year. She hopes to be on the team for as long as she can, but this was never part of Kaylin's plan for school or soccer. I thought they were kidding, um, but it was just kind of like, well, what's next? Like, what do I do now? Um, a little bit of panic, I guess. Kaitlyn started as a student athlete at Holy Names University in Oakland, only to find out they were ending all sports programs last year. Then leaders announced the entire school would close this May. It's been like an interesting transition, you know, like it was sudden. Dominican University came to an agreement with Holy Names to allow students to transfer to their school. As Caitlin prepares to finish her first term here, she wants students to keep in mind the trouble they could face for pursuing a small private college like she did. I think it's really important for them to research the university. That's advice the school's president agrees with. Nicola Pitchford says you should be asking questions about the financial health of a college and look at the trend for enrollment. But she still wants families to see the value in colleges like Dominican University. There's also a place for smaller institutions that are less well known that tend to do a really personal job of looking out that no student falls between the cracks. Part of the struggle Holy Names University and other small private schools have faced in the past decade is a drop in the number of students looking to attend four-year schools. Dominican University's president says a traditional four-year education still holds value in helping young adults create their careers. A degree can give you the skills not just to get a job but then to invent your next job and to make the argument for your next job. And the appeal Caitlin saw in a small college has started to show up on her new campus. It's just a sense of community, like in you, it's the small class sizes, getting to know your professors, like it, it really is important. But Caitlin says if she had to do it all over again, she'd stay at a junior college longer and avoid transferring schools a second time. It's emotional, like too, like I just, can't take the going back and forth. College is supposed to be a new chapter in a student's life. Caitlin just doesn't want anyone to have to write that part of their story twice.